Hello and welcome back to another Pixel Game Maker tutorial. Today is a Patreon request from Emperor who wanted to see how to change a sprite set depending on your damage. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so this setup is gonna be found in my grab and throw project, which is in the samples pack two under grab and throw enemies. So this is where you're gonna find it. And if you go to the player, just click the player, click edit base object. We're going to see that it has a connected object here called player anim set control. And it is this object right here, player anim set control. And the key is to make it a child of the object here. And so that is really going to be the controller of what is happening with that object. You can kind of think of it like that. And you could do this for a lot of different things. I just figured that this would be a nice way to show how to do it for this. And so what's going to happen is, is every time a player goes on a scene, it's going to generate this object. And so it's going to be able to dictate what the sprite is that we need to show. So if we click on the object, the first thing is a setup action. This is going to be because every time you join a scene, it's going to generate that and it needs to reset it. So it's going to set up and determine, are you more than 50% health or are you 50% or less health? So it's going to simply do that by checking its parent object. If the HP is greater than four, then it's going to be over 50% health. And you could do this by variable counts if it's easier or if it's it's better for your situation. But this is just showing you the player right now has eight health. So if it is over four, then you're above 50%. And notice I'm using a parent object. Now, sometimes people get confused because if you click parent object, then the when you click on this, you only have to choose from objects. And that is because all this is doing is it's determining if your parent object has this variable. So if your parent object has an HP variable, then it's going to do this. If it doesn't have an HP variable, which is impossible for objects, then it's it's going to skip this runtime or this link condition altogether. So if you had a custom one, if it didn't have it, it's going to skip it. If it does have it, it's going to use that one to check the value. All right. So if it is over 50%, then all it's going to do is it's going to make sure that the sprite uh, change animation set is the first one, which is when you're normal and healthy. And what I mean by change animation set is if we go to the player here and we click on animation settings, you can see that there's tabs up here. Well, these are the animation sets. So this first one is when the player is healthy. And then the second one is when the player is at 50% life. Now this could be blood or, you know, whatever you wanted to do to make it look like you're hurt. I just put a quick filter on and, and GIMP. But um, you can see the only thing that you have to make sure is that the sprite sheet is just the same. So you have to make sure that it's the same and you can't have any deviations in it. You can't change animations. You can't change length of frame because they, the, they will use the same motions for all these sets. You'll just have one with more blood or one with without blood or something like that. All right, so that is the key. And it's a limitation, but it actually, it, it's the easiest way to go about it. So that's why I'm showing it, all right? So once you have those set up, and again, you can test them from right here as well. If you wanted to test what the animation looks like, you know, we can play it like this, change it to this one. Okay, it's gonna look like that. When we do that, it's gonna look like that. When it, you know, so, so you have some options to look, but uh, then if, it's, if it starts up and it's less than 50%, it's gonna change it to two. All right, and then during gameplay, it's going to be using those same links, but it's just gonna be checking for them during the gameplay. And so when you're playing, you actually get something like this, where if you go like this, take the player, the F1 debug menu, by the way, and you click down to four, boom, it's going to now show me as a, a hurt version of this. And then all of a sudden, let's say I picked up some pizza or whatever, and I get my life back, boom. Now I'm gonna be a healthy version once again. All right, so yeah, that is it. It's, it was pretty simple, but I figured I just added on this just so that you can have a place to look at it. Uh, don't forget to grab this sample if you're a patron. And if you have any questions, comments below, Steam Forms Discord, we just figured out. With that said, I'll see you at the next video.